The U.S. will drop its travel ban Monday, making tourism possible for millions of fully vaccinated foreign nationals. This applies to both international air travel and land travel. The ban prevented travel from dozens of countries, including most European Union member states, the U.K. and China, since early 2020. Meanwhile, travelers from countries not part of the ban will face more stringent requirements with the new vaccine mandate. Air travelers will need to provide proof of vaccination status to fly to the U.S. They will also need to show a pre-departure negative COVID-19 test taken no more than three days ahead of boarding, per a White House official. Authorities on Monday are continuing their criminal investigation into Houston's Astro World Music Festival that left at least eight people dead and scores injured. Thousands of concertgoers on Friday rushed to the stage in what officials described as a crowd surge during a performance by rapper Travis Scott. The festival headliner, overwhelming security and creating a chaotic nightmare. While speaking on CNN Sunday, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner said the investigation will take weeks, if not longer. Around 50, 000 people were in attendance at the festival. The victims who died ranged in age from 14 to 27. 25 people were taken to a hospital, including a 10-year-old in critical condition, officials said. The Harris County Medical Examiner is expected to release on Monday the names of all the victims killed. Proof of vaccination will be required to enter a slew of businesses in the city of Los Angeles starting Monday under one of the nation's strongest vaccine mandates.